Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.7 .7 from Sadiku book. And the question is, assuming that the switch in figure 7.87 has been in position A for a long time and is moved to position B at T equal 0. Then at T is equal to 1, the switch moves from B to C. Find VCT for T greater than or equal than 0. Okay, we need to divide this into some cases. And let's start with case number one, which we find the initial value of the capacitor. Or we need to find out V0 here in this formula. Remember that Vt is V infinity plus V0 minus V infinity multiplied by E to the minus T over tau. Okay, first that we can write is V0. So let's do case number one. Okay, what is case number one? Case number one is when the switch has not moved yet or T is less than zero. Okay, so let's draw it first. So I will have a 12 volt voltage source here. Okay, and then a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, 10 kilo ohm. And then this is the ground. Okay, now we have two millifarad capacitor, but it has been uh, at that position for a long time. Remember, if a capacitor stayed for a long time, it will be discharged, right? So this will become open circuit like this. Okay, and now we need to find out the voltage here because there is no current here. The voltage will be the same as the source. So clearly here, we will have V0 is equal to 12 volt. Okay, and we have found the first value that we need. Okay, this is case number one. Okay, now let's do the second case, which we move the switch from A to B here. So let's do case number two. Case number two. Okay, when t is greater than equal to zero, but less than one. Okay, maybe I should rewrite it like this. Zero, and then less than equal to t, and less than equal to like this. Okay, let's draw the circuit. So we will have 500 ohm resistor here. 500 ohm and then 2 millifarad capacitor there okay so from here we can find the tau or time constant okay remember that tau is equal to the resistance multiplied by the capacitance so the resistance is 500 ohm and the capacitance is 2 millifarad. So I will have this multiplied by 2 milli. So I need in the SI unit. So we convert this to farad. So we multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Okay, that will be 1000 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And that will equal to 1. Okay. But then if we let this condition uh, for a long time, we will have the discharge state like this. Okay, so we will have 500 ohm here. So after long enough. Okay, and now we will have the voltage here. This will be our V infinity. Okay, so we will have V infinity is equal to, clearly this is open circuit and without any source, so that will be 0 volt. Okay, so now we have the value of V infinity here. Okay, so what we need to do is just to plug in the values. So we will have Vt is equal to V infinity is equal to 0 
and then plus v0 is 12 so i will have 12 and then minus v infinity that will be 0 and then e to the minus t over tau tau is 1 okay that is great so we will have pt is equal to 12 e to the minus t and this is for uh, 0 less than t less than or equal 1 okay this is case number 2 we still need one more case which is case number 3 which we move the switch from b to c but then our slide is full let's clean up them Okay, so far we get this value here, Vt is 12e to the minus t, for 0 is less than equal to t and less than to equal 1. Okay, but then we need one more case, which is case number 3. Case number 3, which is when, when t is greater than equal to 1. But first, we need to find out the initial condition, which is V1. How to find V1 from this equation? So, we need to find out V1. What is V1? V1 is 12 e to the minus t. So, t is replaced by 1. So, I will have minus 1 here. And I think this is the job of the calculator. So, let's do it. Yeah, I already calculated. So, I will have 4.415. 4.415 and the unit will be volt. So this is V1. Okay, and we need to change this formula a bit because we start at V1, right? So we change this into Vt is equal to V infinity. And because our initial condition is at V1, so I will have V1 here, and then minus V infinity, then multiplied by E to the minus, because this is shifted, so I will have T minus 1 here, okay, and then divided by tau. So this is the exponent of E, okay. But then we need to redraw the circuit at position C. Okay, let's redraw the circuit. We will have 1 kilo ohm here and then 1 millifarad here. Okay, from here we can calculate the time constant T or tau. So we will have 1 kilo ohm which is 1 multiplied by 10 to the 3 and then 1 millifarad or oh that is 2 that is not 1 2 millifarad okay so this will be multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 okay this 10 to the 3 and 10 to the minus 3 will cancel each other so we will have tau is equal to 2 okay Okay, now we have this part here, V1 here, and we already have the tau there. So this tau here. So what's missing is V infinity, right? So for infinity, we left this for a long time. So I will have after long enough. Our circuit will become like this. Uh, sorry, we will have 1 kilo ohm here, and then we will have this open circuit here, so we will have V infinity, V infinity is clearly equal to 0, because there is no source, and this is open circuit, okay? And now let's plug that in into this green equation here. So we will have Vt. Maybe let's plug in here. Vt is equal to V infinity is 0. And then plus V1 is 4.415 minus V infinity. That will be 0. 
and then e to the minus t minus 1 and then divide it by 2 and okay let's simplify this so i'll have vt is equal to 4.415 e to the minus i think we can write it like this 0 0.5 t minus 1 and the unit will be 4 this is 4 t is greater than 1 okay but the question asks for t is greater than equal to 0 so we need to wrap this up okay uh let's find out some space here 